Good morning. Hi. It's a dentist and bus day. We're gonna show you the easiest ways to get around on the bus. Water. And so you don't get ripped off either. Sure. We're gonna give you the non-gringo prices. All right, see you then. Bye. Hey, it's Ketchup with Christian, and today I'm gonna show you how to make local style guacamole. Alright, so here's the deal. There are four different ways of transportation that you can get. Hi Blair. The first one, you can always take an Uber. Yes, there's Uber in Mexico. The second one is a taxi. Now the taxis are a little bit more pricey, but they take you from point A to point B where you need to go without having any stops. All right, the third is what we're gonna take, which is a combi. A lot of the time, these little tiny VW buses or just smaller vans, big white vans, and they're always white. The taxis are always white. Uh, they can fit a lot more people. So today we are going to take from Loda Marco a 30 peso taxi ride in a combi bus uh, to La Panita. Otherwise, if you need to go quite far, you can take a Compostela that's the name of the bus here, or Pacifico. Some of them are beautiful. They have air conditioning, uh, they're very cozy. So those are the different ways of transportation, the four different ways. So you just gotta decide what you want and how much you want to pay. probably wondering how do you find these taxi locations and bus stops the best thing to do is actually just ask the locals the other important thing to know is you got to pick which side of the road hi babe you need to be on so if you want to go north to let's say like we are La Panita from Lota Marcos we need to be on the right hand side of the road because the bus is gonna come pick us up it's gonna be coming from that way. If you wanna go south, then you gotta be on the other side of the road. So pick the road, <laughs> pick the side of the road that you need to be on to get to where you're going. That was pretty awesome. We just found out that Jason actually doesn't need a crown, so that was cool. He just needed to get a, a new feeling put on. And uh, so just one crown for me next week, it's going to cost me $250.
easy. All right, and if you're ever visiting La Panita, let me tell you, we always need dental work done. We've been here for about three months, so teeth have kind of been an issue while we've been here. And to be able to find like a nice, good dentist, he's been practicing for 14 years. He's young, he's smart, he's up to date with all the stuff. Say hi, babe. Hi, babe. <laughs> it's nice to finally just have good service. Christian, what are we doing? So we're here with our taxi. We're just waiting for more people to join the bus. How cool was that? Very cool. We just met a lady who makes fruit coffee on the bus. And then she gave me free campomo cookies. So the it's called campomo. I don't know what campomo means, but we it's gotta go ask our it's the fruit. local friends. Yeah, it's a fruit, but it's from the campomo tree. It's a tree, it's a very, very tall tree. How exciting. What you making there, Christian? Um, I am making um, guacamole, and I, this only took three scoops um, to get the, all of the avocado out. Be sure to watch my next Catch Up with Christian where I'm going to show you how to make my breakfast, fruit smoothies. If you want to subscribe to our channel, hit um, the Regen Station button so then you don't miss any of our videos. Bye!